Traditional FI is the process of increasing your savings rate and investing to get to 25 times your annual expenses as quickly as possible. This can involve forgoing current happiness levels by delaying gratification with the aim to live the life you want when you achieve FI and quit work. Even at a 50% savings rate, it will still take about 17 years to get there. That's a long time to wait to be happy. There are more flexible approaches to get to financial independence while not foregoing as much current happiness. You may have heard about Coast Fi, Barista Fi, Slow Fi, Fat Fi, Lean Fi, Semi Retirement, Mini Retirements, the list goes on. There seems to be a new type of Fi popping up every week at the moment. So, over the next few weeks, I'm going to do a deep dive into the different financial independence strategies and look at the pros and cons of each, who it may be suitable for, and my favourite option that I've chosen for myself. Whilst researching this video, I found this personal wealth spectrum graphic on the Wallet blog, which I think is interesting. As you can see, there is a continuum of the different types of financial independence, and as you progress through the financial independence journey and your pot increases, so does your level of freedom over your time. I've already done a few videos on Coastfire, so we'll link to them in the description below. Today, I'm taking a deep dive into Baristify. What is Baristify? Baristify generally refers to what people would classically maybe refer to as semi-retirement. Whilst not fully financially independent, the idea of Baristify is bridging the gap between income from passive investments with a part-time job to make up the difference between their passive income and their expenses. It doesn't necessarily involve becoming a barista, it's more about someone being able to take on a lower stress, part-time or lower income job and preferably one that they enjoy, or in my case, trying to make up the difference by building up side hustles that you find enjoyable. And in the current gig economy, it's never been easier to make money online. Every 1k made from a side hustle or a job per year is equivalent to around 25k value in your five pot. Therefore, even making just 4k a year from a side hustle is a whopping 100k less that you need in your nest egg. Baristify versus Coastify. Although both are similar, I think the main difference between the two is that Baristify means that you are withdrawing from your portfolio but supplementing it with income. Whereas Coastify means you are leaving your full portfolio invested to enable it to grow to full FI, but covering your full expenses through employment, which often means you will still be working full time at Coastify but maybe one or two days per week at Baristify. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say someone has worked their way up to a reasonably well paid position in a company, maybe even a middle management level position by their mid thirties. However, as with everything in life, there is no free lunch and each promotion has meant gradually taking on more responsibility and often longer and unsociable hours, including regular evenings and weekends, meaning they regularly miss out on family events, birthdays and so on. Despite disliking their job, this person has been a conscientious and competent employee and has gained a few promotions over the years and now earns enough to save and invest a decent amount of money each month. They are unhappy with how their life is panning out and want out of that high stress job as soon as possible. They discover financial independence but realise that even after dramatically cutting their expenses and saving over 50% of their salary, it will still take them 10 to 15 years or so to reach full financial independence. And by that time, the kids will have grown up and the opportunity to do the things they dream of may have passed. Let's say they have household expenses of around £2,000 per month and because they have been on the fire journey a few years now and have always been naturally good at saving and investing, they have a master portfolio of about £150,000 in index funds. Using the 4% rule, they could probably draw around £6,000 per year from their investments or about £500 per month while leaving the principal to continue growing. They also realised that by not doing their fancy office job, their cost of living would reduce to around £1,500 per month, as they wouldn't need to pay for commuting costs, work lunches and expensive work clothes etc. So with roughly £500 from investments, they only need to make £1,000 per month to make ends meet. Therefore, in this example, this person could quite easily consider quitting the high stress, time consuming and demanding management job for a job working three to four days a week at something lower stress and more enjoyable whilst enjoying a much better quality of life. This route can look very appealing to someone who is really miserable in their current job. But before jumping straight into the Baristify approach, here are a few things to consider. What are the positives of Baristify? Number one, 
improve lifestyle a lot quicker than full fi. It allows you to get more time when you are actually young instead of waiting until you are older and maybe can't do the things that you wanted to. It is also a perfect strategy for someone wanting to spend more time with kids before they grow up and no longer want to spend time with their parents, or someone who would like to spend some time trying to build up a potential business or side hustle on the side. Number two, health benefits. One of the positives that is talked about on the US fire movement blogs is that Barista Fire still allows you to get health insurance benefits. But seeing as healthcare in the UK is generally accessible to all because of our publicly funded national health service system, healthcare isn't as much of an issue here. Number three, lower stress environment. I've read a few articles explaining how this isn't necessarily true, as working in the retail and service industries, dealing with demanding customers all day can often be super stressful. I get that, but in reality, if someone is choosing Baristify from a position of strength, then they can take the time to make sure that the job they are choosing is a right fit for them. Number four, it's a good transition to early retirement. I often read fire blogs or hear stories of people that went from a high earning, high status career to suddenly hitting fire and racking it all in and doing nothing. They then find that the lack of routine and purpose sometimes results in struggles with depression and other mental health issues and also relationship breakdowns, etc. Therefore, I think the barista fire route allows a great way to gradually transition to fire and dip your toes in the water. Even if it's just dropping a few days a week at work for a start and beginning to design a new life that will work for you in the long run. Number five, it doesn't necessarily mean becoming a barista. People hear barista fire and shut off because they have no interest in becoming a barista, but it could be any job. More on potential job ideas later. Number six, it provides a safety net in case of market crashes and your investments can still grow. Many people worry about market crashes and the sequence of returns risk. However, in the case of a market crash, Barista Fi allows you to potentially pick up a few extra shifts and leave the portfolio to recover. This should, in theory, negate the sequence of returns risk somewhat. Also, the goal should be to ultimately still get to full fi at some point in the future, so it's important to keep the investments growing, either with a lower withdrawal rate or by still contributing to the portfolio in some way. Number seven more time to follow passions. Less time working, more time for passions and hobbies. Enough said. Number eight, less commuting. Hopefully the part-time job can be close to where you live, or even better, working from home to save on long commutes that are often so hated by workers. And finally, number nine, forced socialisation. This probably doubles up with number four. Early retirement can be a lonely place. Being forced to go out there, meet people and socialise can be great, especially for as introverts. And what about the negatives then? Number one, status and getting used to a low paycheck. By pursuing Baristify, you are effectively making a choice to buy time instead of status. Many people's identity and self-worth can become tied to their status of their job, and some people really struggle with letting this go. Also, it can be a big hit to the ego when you suddenly go from a high-paying job to a minimum wage job and sometimes can make you feel undervalued in society. Number two, people can be rude and often judge based on social status. Following on from the first point, people often make huge assumptions based on your occupation and style of dress. Many people will turn their noses up at those who work in what are considered as low status occupations. Not all people are like this obviously, but we've all come across douchebags like this in our time. It always surprises me how many rude and inconsiderate people there are in the world. Number three, slows down route to full fire and you still need your investments to grow or take a lower withdrawal rate. Baristify basically requires you to start drawing a little from your portfolio, which slows down the compounding machine, meaning that reaching fire will take a lot longer. It's also important to remember that if you want to reach full fire, it will probably mean withdrawing at a lower withdrawal rate than 4% or continuing to invest a little money to keep it growing. Number four, uncertain job market. Who knows what the job market will look like when you choose to move jobs? Often part-time jobs can be insecure. To put it lightly, I'm sure barista work dried up a little bit in the recent past. Number five, the new job may not live up to expectations. Now let's be honest, most of us have probably had a part-time job in the past, 
Some of mine have been really fun and some have actually been horrendous. You might think you'd enjoy a job, but if your boss is still at all, or the job comes with new stresses, such as angry customers and unpleasant people, then it may not be all it was cracked up to be. Number six, it will probably be very awkward. You will probably have to keep the fact that you are wealthy a secret. Firstly, because in my experience, employers don't like free thinkers and would probably be a hit to their ego if they realised that their employees are sitting on a bigger investment portfolio than them. Also, a lot of your co-workers may well be just about keeping above water. And if they found out that you are just rocking up for a bit of pocket money, it might make the environment a bit awkward and could potentially result in you feeling excluded from the group. Number seven, barista fi isn't really fi at all. And it's definitely not early retirement as you would technically still be working. But I don't really see the fi movement as about retiring early anyway, which is why I generally don't refer to the RE part even if fire is a catchy acronym. But there's no arguing that if you're after one of the quickest ways to escape the traditional 9-to-5 grind, especially if you hate your job and work fewer hours and have more time to pursue things you're passionate about, then this is a great option. Potential barista fire jobs in the UK Seeing as health insurance is not such an issue here in the UK, the potential jobs open up a bit. A few ideas for barista fire jobs are as follows. Online jobs such as teaching online or freelancing sites like Upwork or Fiverr can be especially useful if you have skills in things like digital marketing or graphic design. Seasonal jobs. There are plenty of fun and enjoyable seasonal jobs, especially if you have the right skills, like sports summer camps, skiing jobs, teaching water sports, etc. Upmarket grocery stores. Shops like Waitrose and M&S could work. Waitrose offer a 25% discount to staff on both Waitrose and John Lewis stuff as well, which is an awesome perk. Just beware. Often the Waitrose customers can be the worst when it comes to snobbery and rudeness to staff from my experience. Part-time passion jobs. If you have a passion for something, then maybe there could be a way to work in that area. Love coffee? Then working as a barista or for a coffee company roasting beans may be for you. Fancy yourself as a bit of a wine connoisseur? How about working in a wine bar or wine shop or a vineyard doing tasting sessions, for example? Love books? How about working as a librarian in a bookshop? Or maybe wildlife and conservation is more your thing. Maybe there's an opportunity to work in a nature reserve or pet shop. The list goes on. And finally, consulting or coaching. Using previous experience, especially if you have been a high earner, can mean you probably earn more in one day of consulting than maybe a week of doing one of the other jobs, whilst also not taking the big hit on the social status, if that's important to you. So this leads to the question of, is barista fire right for you? Firstly, if you can't get your head around why in the world anyone would be willing to accept less money to work a part-time gig, then barista fire is way off the mark for you. Especially if you have a well-paid career that you find enjoyable and rewarding. So if this is you, then probably crack on with your job and keep working towards full fire. As with all things, there are no right or wrong answers. It comes down to personal preference. Everyone aspires for different things in life. Full financial independence may not be an option for 20 plus years for some people, so Baristify may be worth considering. It's all down to your individual personality. If you dream of a slower paced lifestyle and more time now and are not bothered by the social status element, then Baristify is definitely worth a consideration.